So of the 13 mum classifications, I was able to capture 11 of them on video for us to look at. The first is irregular incurve, which represents the largest blooms within the chrysanthemum genus. Irregular incurve classification applies to those mums with petals that loosely incurve and close the center of the flower. The lower florets present an irregular or informal appearance and may give the chrysanthemum a skirted effect. Aren't these purple irregular incurve mums absolutely delightful? Next up, we have class two reflex mums that are shaped like flattened globes. Chrysanthemums within the reflex classification have petals that curve downward and overlap. Next up, we have regular incurve, and these feature a true spherical bloom. They're well-balanced, beautiful flowers, and they have petals that smoothly incurve and form a ball shape, curving tightly up. Next up, we have intermediate incurve. Similar to irregular incurve, the intermediate incurve classification is smaller than its counterpart, with shorter florets that only partially incurve with full centers. Next up, we have pom pom mums, which are characterized by small, spherical blooms that are somewhat flat when young, but fully round when mature. Just as the name suggests, petals curve either upward or downwards in a round globe shape. Now let's take a break from talking about forms and just appreciate all of these amazing chrysanthemum topiaries that are all throughout the chrysanthemum show. And at first glance, it appears to me that these specific topiaries are made from the anemone form of mum. So let's talk about that form next. Anemone chrysanthemums have a daisy-like appearance with a large center disc that can range from flat to hemispherical. Class number nine is a fun name and a beautiful flower. That's spoon mums. And these feature spoon-like petals that face upwards, radiating out from a round center disc. Aren't they so interesting and playful? Now class number 10 is one of my personal favorites, and these are quill chrysanthemums. Quill chrysanthemums lack an open center, but they certainly make up for it in their straight, tubular florets that push out from the center of the flower. The tips of the quills can be closed and pointed to open and flat. Next up, we have spider chrysanthemums, and aren't these absolutely glorious? Spider chrysanthemums have long, tubular ray florets that may coil or even hook at the ends. The petals can be thin or thick in width. Next up, we have brush or thistle chrysanthemums, which can resemble an artist's paintbrush or feature fine, twisted, tubular florets that appear flattened. And the petals stick either up or out. And lastly, we have class 13, which is unclassified or exotic, which is the ones we're looking at now. Blooms in the unclassified or exotic category may exhibit characteristics of more than one bloom class or are considered distinctive and unique and therefore do not fall into any other category. Well friends, I think I'm going to wrap up today's video here. It started to rain a little bit and I want to head home and hopefully watch the Steelers beat the Dolphins tonight. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I want to wish you all a wonderful day out there in your gardens and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye!